Have you ever wondered what it would be like to travel through time? To witness the past or catch a glimpse of the future? It's a concept that has fascinated both scientists and science fiction enthusiasts for decades. But when it comes to time travel, there's one issue that plagues our imagination, the dreaded temporal paradox. Before we proceed to more intricate paradoxes, it's crucial to discuss the ethical implications that come with time travel. After all, altering events isn't merely a matter of technical feasibility, it also raises significant moral concerns. Would it be ethical for a time traveler to prevent a catastrophe if it alters the course of history in unforeseen ways? This question intersects with the idea of the greater good paradox, a situation where the time traveler must weigh immediate good against an unknown, possibly catastrophic, long-term consequence. Temporal paradoxes are the mind-boggling contradictions that arise when the past is altered, or the future is changed. They question the very fabric of cause and effect, leaving us bewildered and perplexed. But fear not, because today, we are diving headfirst into the time traveler's dilemma to unravel the secrets of these paradoxes. The Grandfather Paradox Let's start with the Grandfather Paradox. The fundamental scenario involves a time traveler who goes back in time and, either intentionally or accidentally, prevents one of their grandparents from meeting their future spouse. This would, in theory, prevent the birth of one of the time traveler's parents, and therefore, the birth of the time traveler themselves. The grandfather paradox presents an immediate problem of causality. If the time traveler were never born, how could they go back in time to prevent their own birth? This creates a logical inconsistency that calls into question our understanding of cause and effect. One way to potentially resolve the paradox is by invoking the multiverse theory. In this scenario, the act of time traveling and altering the past creates a branching timeline, separate from the original. In the new timeline, the time traveler was never born, but their existence continues in the original timeline from which they originated. This concept has its own complexities, such as the ethical implications of altering the course of a new universe, as well as how one would ever return to their original timeline. Another theoretical approach posits that time is inherently deterministic, meaning that any attempt to alter past events would be predestined to fail. In this view, the time traveler might find that circumstances mysteriously conspire to prevent them from carrying out actions that would create a paradox. For example, they might aim a weapon at their grandfather but miss or find that the gun jams at the crucial moment. However, this theory raises its own philosophical problems, including the negation of free will. Igor Novikov, a Russian physicist, proposed a principle of self-consistency regarding time travel. According to this principle, the probability of an event occurring that could give rise to a paradox is zero. Simply put, nature has a way of protecting itself from inconsistencies. While the mechanics of how this would work are not entirely understood, the principle suggests that you could not create a situation that would result in a paradox in the first place. The grandfather paradox also opens a can of ethical worms. If one were capable of changing past events, what moral responsibility would they have to avoid altering the past in ways that could have adverse effects on others? Conversely, if one had the ability to rectify past injustices, would they have an ethical obligation to do so, despite the potential paradoxes their actions might create? The grandfather paradox has been subject to many computational models and logical analyzes, often in the context of hypothetical closed time-like curves, which are paths in space-time that loop back on themselves. These analyzes aim to identify whether the laws of physics as currently understood could permit or prevent the scenarios posited by the paradox. The conclusions are often conditional and subject to various assumptions, reflecting the theoretical nature of the topic. The butterfly effect. A fundamental tenet of chaos theory, the butterfly effect suggests that even minuscule changes in a system's initial conditions can lead to dramatically different outcomes. Extrapolated to time travel, the butterfly effect suggests that even the most seemingly insignificant actions could have monumental consequences, ethical or otherwise. Consider a scenario in which a time traveler goes back to save a life, only for that individual to later cause harm to others. Did the time traveler do a good thing by saving a life, or did they perpetuate suffering by enabling a future evildoer? This dilemma showcases how every action taken within the realm of time travel could be fraught with moral ambiguity. In the absence of full knowledge about the repercussions of one's actions, intent becomes a critical factor in evaluating the ethics of time travel. If a traveler intends well but causes harm, should they be held morally responsible for the unforeseen consequences? Here we enter the domain of consequentialism versus deontological ethics, is it the result that matters, or is it the intent behind the action? The Bootstrap Paradox Another mind-bending paradox is the Bootstrap Paradox. The bootstrap paradox is a concept that calls into question the very foundations of causality, originality, and the flow of time. 
This paradox presents an intricate loop where an object or piece of information appears to exist without any point of origin. Let's delve deeper into its intricacies, implications, and some scenarios that help illustrate its enigmatic nature. Picture this, a time traveler ventures to the past and bestows upon a famous composer the sheet music for a timeless masterpiece. But the twist is that the composer then takes credit for the piece, which ultimately inspires the time traveler to go back in time and deliver the music in the first place. So, where did the original idea come from? This paradox challenges the notion of originality and begs the question, can something truly come from nothing? Let's extend the initial example of a time traveler giving sheet music to a composer. In our modern understanding of intellectual property, who would own the rights to this masterpiece? The time traveler, who took the initiative to ensure its creation. Or the composer, who technically wrote it down and possibly even added nuances. This throws intellectual property laws into chaos and adds a layer of ethical and legal complexity. The Predestination Paradox The Predestination Paradox is another compelling quandary in the realm of time travel theories that presents questions about fate, free will, and the nature of causality. This paradox suggests that events are destined to happen in a certain way and that any attempt to alter them will not only fail but may actually be the cause of the events themselves. This creates a self-consistent loop in time where cause and effect become blurred. Let's delve deeper into its complexities. In a predestination paradox, a time traveler attempts to alter events in the past, only to discover that their actions were actually the cause of the events they were trying to prevent. This creates a closed loop in time that appears to be self-consistent, effectively eliminating the kind of causal contradiction seen in the grandfather paradox. One of the most intriguing aspects of the predestination paradox is its implications for the debate between free will and determinism. The very nature of this paradox seems to imply a deterministic universe, where events are preordained to happen in a specific manner. Can a person truly make choices, or are we merely actors playing out roles scripted by the laws of time and physics? One of the most famous literary examples is Robert A. Heinlein's short story All You Zombies, where a character becomes his own mother, father, and kidnapper, all due to a series of time travel events. Another example could be the film Predestination, which explores similar themes. Scientifically speaking, the predestination paradox often enters discussions of closed time-like curves and other exotic solutions to the equations of general relativity. The greater good paradox. The idea of the greater good is a recurring theme in ethical philosophy, often found in discussions about utilitarianism, consequentialism, and deontological ethics. The paradox arises when actions that are taken for the greater good result in ethical dilemmas or unintended consequences that challenge our moral intuitions. The greater good paradox typically occurs when a morally challenging action is taken with the belief that it will lead to a better outcome for the majority. This can result in a clash between individual rights and collective welfare, and often opens a Pandora's box of ethical, social, and even political issues. The ethical theory of utilitarianism is often invoked in discussions about the greater good. Utilitarianism suggests that the most ethical action is the one that maximizes overall happiness or utility. However, a strict utilitarian perspective might justify actions that are intuitively immoral if those actions result in a net gain in happiness or utility. This could include, for example, sacrificing one innocent person to save multiple others, an idea which many find ethically problematic. Deontological ethics, on the other hand, focus on the inherent morality of actions rather than their outcomes. From this perspective, certain actions may be inherently wrong, regardless of their outcomes. This creates a paradox when an action that seems morally reprehensible leads to a greater good. For example, is it ethical to lie if that lie would save lives? The trolley problem is a thought experiment that encapsulates the greater good paradox. In this scenario, a trolley is headed towards five people tied to a track. You can pull a lever to divert the trolley onto another track, where it will hit only one person. The paradox pits the utilitarian choice of minimizing loss of life against the deontological argument that actively causing someone's death is inherently wrong. Governments often face decisions that weigh individual freedoms against collective security or welfare. Measures like taxation, social services, or even restrictions during public health crises can be seen as efforts to serve the greater good, but they often come with their own sets of ethical and practical complexities. In the real world, the concept of the greater good frequently lacks clear-cut answers, adding to its paradoxical nature. For instance, medical triage during emergencies often requires prioritizing treatment for patients who are more likely to survive, a practice that could be viewed as serving the greater good but which inevitably involves ethical trade-offs. One of the key challenges of the greater good paradox is the unpredictability of outcomes. 
actions taken for the greater good can sometimes result in unforeseen negative consequences, further complicating the ethical calculus. The ontological paradox. But perhaps the most perplexing paradox of all is the ontological paradox. In an ontological paradox, an object or piece of information exists in a perpetual loop where it has neither a distinct beginning nor an end. This paradox questions the very nature of existence itself. It's as if the object is just floating in the time-space continuum, with no point of creation. A classic example is a time traveler receiving a future gadget from their future self, only to eventually go back in time and give it to their past self. The object has no beginning and no end, leaving us pondering the mysteries of existence itself. The ontological paradox forces us to question the metaphysical principles that govern our understanding of the universe. If an object or piece of information can exist without a point of origin, does this challenge the very nature of cause and effect, and, by extension, our understanding of reality? However, the ontological paradox disrupts this linear progression, as the object or information becomes both the cause and the effect in an endless loop. This challenges classical notions of causality, forcing us to reconsider how events in the universe are related. The ontological paradox has captured public imagination and is a popular subject in science fiction literature, movies, and television shows. Works like the movie Looper or the series Doctor Who often explore such paradoxes, stimulating public discourse on these intricate topics. How can you regulate time travel? Assuming time travel were possible and regulated, how could society regulate and enforce time travel across timelines? Some would argue for the creation of a governing body, akin to an international court, that would judge time travel violators, similar to the governing body seen in Minority Report or Time Cop. Given the ethical complexities surrounding time travel, some theorists would argue for a policy of temporal non-interference, akin to the Prime Directive in Star Trek. This guideline would dictate that time travelers should act as observers, not participants, in past events. But here, too, ethical questions abound. If one has the power to prevent suffering but chooses not to intervene, is that itself an ethical failing? Finally, if we ever reach the technological capability for time travel, it would become imperative to prepare potential travelers with an ethical framework for their journeys. This isn't just a matter of personal morality, it's about creating a standardized set of guidelines that can help navigate the moral complexities that time travel entails. Until these questions are satisfactorily addressed, the ethical dilemma will remain an integral part of the time traveler's dilemma, warranting as much scrutiny and debate as any paradox or technical obstacle. As we've explored the intricacies of temporal paradoxes, it's important to remember that time travel, as we currently understand it, remains firmly in the realm of fiction. While many theories have been proposed, we have yet to unlock the secrets of traversing the fourth dimension. But perhaps that's what makes this topic so endlessly captivating, the mystery, the wonder, and the limitless possibilities that await us in the world of time travel. We hope this exploration of temporal paradoxes has ignited your imagination and left you yearning for more. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button to stay up to date with all our future mind-bending explorations.